How in the hell could a man enjoy being awakened at 30 a.m. by an alarm clock, leap out of bed, dress, force feed, shit, please brush teeth in here, and ride traffic to get to a place where essentially you made lots of money for somebody else and were asked to be grateful for somebody for the opportunity to do so. Charles Bukowski, Factotum. So hey mga fukura at muling babalik after a month. Well, apparently di naman talaga nakapaghinga doing some kinama at work. Some pano, bagong bago work. So, as the code stated, I know lalim sa culture na super ninormalize ang toxic work culture. Na as if dito nasusukat ang worth mo bilang tao. And most of the people that I have encountered, obviously, hating their job. So I have seen a lot of videos and articles about 9 to 5 corporate toxic jobs, like some... Morning wagey, you're two minutes late. Get in KG. I work 9 to 5 and I'm falling fast when I was a wage car. Can you come in tomorrow? Like some of developed countries like US and China already protest and made a movement about it. Like the Great Resignation and US and Lang Flat in China. So therefore, yung pinaglalaban ko, well, I just want to talk about toxic work culture and most of us hitting the routine at work doesn't give any meaning anymore that no, we're literally doing it just to pay the damn bills and even we really don't like the makipagbastikan sa work we're still doing it and baka sinasabi nyo masyado ka namang dyan generalize some people do it for prestige or to maintain a certain social status instead of doing something meaningful invaluable for yourself and to the community not only making someone more richer and richer and keeps exploiting you and not to mention it was very time consuming that you don't literally have time to spend to take care for your well-being and your passion and we keep telling to ourselves that we don't have any choice anymore that this is the only path that we take although some of the people na nakikita kong nagsusumikap sa kanang side hustle na balang araw may magpatutunguhan din to na hindi ko na kailangan magtrabaho sa isang <coughs> kumpanya na wala na namang talagang pakialam sa akin at makapag-plistikan sa management just to please them and asama mo na din yung mga unfair practices na bulgaran harap harap na nangyari and no one will give a fuck cause we are all afraid to lose our job and one of the insane thing if you're trying to rant about it they will tell you that your plan I mean what are your plans then I have a lot like the things that I am really passionate about like filming, editing, I know that I'm not good yet, that's why I'm trying to learn more. But that's going to be a different story, a different content. Na eto pangs, isang koda, tungkol din sa pakikisama mo, it's 
Sims Night. It is one of the unwritten rules na bawal kang tumangis sa gathering, especially sa bosses mo. Even though you're not the type of person not going, lalo na kung alam mo namang na kinagawa lang nila yun for the sake na makuha yung loob mo at all of it are fakes. And yes, pati yung mga tao. Like, nag- napapakal- napakalaki na ng time na ginugaw mo sa pag-commune, sa pag-audi, then unti-unting na I mean, unting time na natitirang oras or whatever. Unting time mo ay kukunin pa. Like, nasa na yung oras mo para sa sarili mo at sa pamilya mo. That's and passion. <clears throat> so, I guess that was it just for today and I hope that it could be better. I'm sorry if my thoughts were just running around in circles. And see you guys in the next Come on. Oh, for crap. Peter, what's happening? Um, I'm gonna need you to go ahead and come in tomorrow. So if you could be here around nine, that would be great. Okay? Oh, oh, and I almost forgot. Um, I'm also gonna need you to go ahead and come in on Sunday, too, okay? We uh, lost some people this week, and uh, we need to sort of play catch up. Thanks. So I was sitting in my cubicle today, and I realized ever since I started working, um, every single day of my life has been worse than the day before it. So that means that every single day that you see me, That's on the worst day of my life. What about today? Is today the worst day of your life? Yeah. Wow, that's messed up. I'm sorry. Go on. Is there any way that you could sort of just zonk me out so that, like, I, I don't know that I'm at work in here? Could I come home and think that I've been fishing all day or something?